Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91 and just a quick video here. Now, I played Oxen Free, right? Now, before I start, I just want to point out I'm not hating on the game. It may be a great game, it may be even a good sequel, but the two characters, the main ones, that we seem to see are not characters, at least as far as I know, from the last game. Now, this unfortunately is what happens, I believe, a, a good amount of times when you have a game where the ending is so affected by choice that they really can't, or at least it'd be really difficult for them to do a direct follow-up of that game because how are they going to really do it where it feels like everyone's choices actually still mattered? It would be really hard, so going with two new characters probably makes sense. There may be some references, but... I don't think we're going to really, like, at least directly see the old characters again. But that's all I'm just really pointing out. It kind of sucks. I mean, once again, I'm not hating on the game. It may be great. But it does kind of suck that when you have a game where so many choices, like, could affect the ending, that when the sequel comes out, you can't really do a direct follow-up. Now, I understand why. Because it'd be really hard, like, extremely hard to do a direct follow-up and actually make it seem like the choices mattered. But... Still kind of sucks. But anyway, what do you guys think about Oxenfree 2 going with two new characters? And what do you guys think about the whole, like, um, games like this in general? Like, where the first one, you make all those choices and it really affects the ending, right? And then the second one comes out and it obviously can't be exactly a direct follow-up. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.